now moving into formulas. So those were all individual herbs. And that's how you'll learn it in Chinese medicine at first. You'll learn the individual players, you'll learn everything it does. But then you'll start to learn the formulas and you'll start to see how they work together. And you'll start to see how they are mostly used, which is great because you're like putting everything into context. First time is like a meet and greet. It's like a, <laughs> it's like speed dating. Okay? But then you go into this and it's like you learn who they're married to. <laughs> and who they don't get along with. Yeah. Everybody else. <laughs> so we're combining herbs in a way such that they work synergistically, that they address all the different aspects of what's going on with our particular disharmony or particular pattern. When we prescribe formulas, it's almost always modified, except for the cases of patent herbs, right? You have it, it's set, there's nothing you can do, it's pre-made. But with powders, have we talked, do you guys know about powders, powdered herbs? They're pre-cooked formulas, then dehydrated, so that you just have to mix hot water into it and, and take your dosage, instead of cooking a tea of raw herbs and going fresh. Raw herbs are the strongest, powdered herbs, or granulated herbs are the second. They're maybe about 80% as effective. And pill form are about 50% as effective. Which is why I told you, for instance, with that one formula, Gan Na Ling, that you double the dosage to make sure it's effective. Yeah. Good. So everybody is unique. It's rare, very rare, that two people that I treat will get the same formula exactly. But what will happen is, using a very common strategy, is you find a formula that as closely matches their syndrome as possible. And then you modify it from there. It's the modifications that then change things, that then address all the other nuances of their condition. And this is a problem with Western medical research in Chinese medicine. They want us to just say, this is the formula, this is what you give for everybody who has this condition. And we say, no, that's not how it works. We can try it that way, and yes, it'll be effective, but it won't be as effective as if we modify it appropriately. I think that's changing based on um, um, the way that people are using formulas. Now more, the trend is being more customized. Yeah, good, yeah. good, yeah, that's what we need. We're all special in our own way. So the formula structure is divided into four main categories. Jun, Chen, Zuo, Shi. The Jun is the chief or king herb. This is the herb that is the strongest, it's in the highest um, dosage. You have the most of it in the formula. It's usually one herb, maybe sometimes two herbs equally, but they most closely match your chief diagnosis. Then you have the Chen herb, which is the deputy. It's the second most abundant, and what it does is it supports the king. Right? It's its backup. But then it'll also do something on top of that. It'll do like an extra little thing in a different way than the king does. Because the king can't do everything. He has to delegate the work out. The zuo is the assistant. This one will then support both the king and the deputy. And then it'll do something also on the side. Right? It's taking on more functions, but more dispersed. And then you have the shur herb. The shur herb is the messenger. Like we talked about with Fong Chi or Astragalus, it guides the, um, guides the Chi upwards. So for instance, if you needed to focus a formula on the lungs or on the surface, you could add Huang Chi to guide it up. There are actually other herbs that you, for the lungs, there's another herb you'd use first, but Huang Chi for the surface is great. Um, the other thing that they do is they harmonize other herbs. And that's why I say Gan Sao or licorice root is the most common. A common trio of herbs that are used in this category of shirt herbs that help to guide or harmonize other herbs is called, <laughs> I don't know if this is how it was originally called, but this is what my Chinese teacher called it. They called it the three amigos, which were licorice root, 
ginger, fresh ginger, and hong zao, red dates, Chinese red dates. All of those together. Fresh ginger, red dates, and liquor shrimp. Okay. Any questions about any of this? For the most part, they don't use fresh herbs. Like ginger is a good exception. The sometimes you get like fresh goji berries and stuff like that. But they use it in tea. Is that right? Yes. Not powder. I mean, not the three formulas: powder, pills. Oh yeah, yeah. So the powder, the powder is not fresh. I mean, it may have been fresh originally when they cooked it, and then they cook it down, make a tea, and then they dehydrate that tea. Yeah. So there's three Yeah. Yes. There's also plasters. You can do herbal soaks as well, which are cool. Yeah. Deep dot jiao, amazing formula that you can put for um, bruises and traumas. It works so good. It's such an amazing formula. I think I should make some and just have it on on stock at my clinic. Um, it's a formula that's a martial arts formula. And just as a, a great example of this, so I, right when I graduated from school, I was like, I'm going to exercise so much more. And I was like, I'm going to get back into soccer. I joined a league. I started playing on the first day. This guy, like, he was running full speed at me when I only had, like, three feet to run towards the ball. And he just knocked right into me and pinned my ankle down. My ankle literally went flat like that while my leg was straight up so bad and my ankle was huge and so you know I got MRIs and stuff and nothing was broken just bad badly sprained and <laughs> I went to the physical therapist she started treating me and then I got some deep touch out from a friend I hadn't heard of that formula yet a friend made it for me and was like here you need to use this and so I was using it I was using it and I went back to the physical therapist and she's like wow this was a week later she's like you're three weeks ahead of healing schedule Nice. Yeah, so so good. Such an amazing formula. What's it called again? Deep Dot Jow. Deep Dot Jow. I'm pronouncing it. Yeah. <laughs> and my pronunciation of these herbs is not so great. I'm sure that's great. It's kind of smelly and dark. Yeah. Are you using fresh ground herbs or do you use a tincture? I use a tincture. Nice. I good. Snake oil, yeah. Yeah, it's like there's a snake in it. Wu Xiao Xia, Bai Hua Xia Xia No, not Bai Hua Xia Xia Wu Xiao Xia, and another one, Bai Hua Xia. Yeah, it's um, used for, for wind in the skin, for like, um, mostly used in wind for the skin, for like rashes, oh. for the most part. I thought it was always used for bruises. Bruises, sure. Yeah, I mean, you can use it for that too. Yeah, to move the blood. Yeah, I can see that. But mostly, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's wind and then it moves blood in the channels. Great, but beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. In your practice, do you find that you use mostly the powdered herbs or do you have some? At the moment, mostly the powder herbs. I mean, I sell like a lot of that Gan Ma Ling. It's, it's such a popular seller because everybody wants to like not get sick. Um, but a lot of powdered herbs and sometimes I do raw herbs. I, I try to say, hey, if you can, if you have the time, please let's do raw herbs. If you want the best results, we'll do raw herbs. But most people will just prefer the powder. Right. Yeah. And then I use, I avoid the pills unless they're very specific for something that doesn't need to be modified. Yeah. 